Well, this is our first marsh orchid. And this one is Dactylorhiza purpurella, northern marsh orchid. And uh, it's quite common in Northumberland. I'm sitting on Holy Island, uh, uh, but it's, it's quite widespread throughout the county, down into County Durham. Um, it has a, a compatriot which is a bit of a look-alike that we should be seeing uh, in the next film, uh, and that is early marsh orchid, Dactylorhiza incarnata. Um, how do you tell the two apart? Well, Dactylorhiza purpurella is this rather purple colour, but sometimes Dactylorhiza incarnata, the early marsh, can also be like that. It has unspotted leaves, um, and they're almost flat at the ends. Now, when we see uh, uh, early marsh orchid, the ends of the leaves are really hooded, uh, just like a bit like a monk's cowl, and um, that's quite distinctive. They're much flatter than um, uh, these, uh, these leaves. It has a friend, uh, the southern marsh orchid, um, that's usually rather uh, less purple, a bit pinker, and it has much larger uh, bottom lips on the flowers. Nine millimetres is a good number. Nine millimetres often crops up in botany and um, it's, uh, it's a good uh, measurement to take. More than nine millimetres it's probably southern marsh orchid. It does just creep into to, uh, to County Durham and there are perhaps some records from Northumberland too. But, uh, so this is northern marsh, uh, Dactylorhiza, well, dactyl in Greek, it means finger, and it's called Dactylorhiza because the, the roots, the tubers, look like fingers, uh, if I dug them up, which I'm not going to, um, that's what they would look like, hence the name. So it's a good, uh, it's a good memory jogger, but if you, if you know what the word means, dactyl is finger in Greek, um, that uh, it gives you a bit of a clue about the name. There is one other plant which looks a little bit like this, and that's um, common spotted orchid. That one has spotted leaves, as the name implies, but the other trick is just to press the stem. And the stem of the northern marsh orchid and the southern one are hollow, and I can feel that with my fingers. It's just got a bit of give in it. And if I had common spotted orchid, it would be solid, and I wouldn't be able to uh, feel any central hollow at all. So this is northern marsh orchid, Dactylorhiza purpurella.